Are you sure this is a good idea? I feel like I look like an idiot. Come on, you look good. This is George's Gadgets, and today we're talking about Christmas ornaments. Welcome back everyone. I really appreciate you tuning in again. So today we're talking about the Christmas ornaments that I showed in the beginning. I'm really excited to show this video. I'm sorry it took a little bit to get out. I'm just gonna jump right into it. So me and Kristen together, we made uh, four different ornaments. We made this bell that you can kind of hear the ringing. I don't know if you can get it. And then we made a gingerbread man and uh, I think he looks pretty good. I don't know if he's gonna be in focus, but we'll give you close-ups of it. And we made a Santa Claus hat. See, doesn't quite fit my head though. And then we made a snowman, see here. So those are the four things that we made, but I wanna talk more about the methods that I used to create these some of the most simple, and then a couple of the tools I used with Infusion were something new that I experimented with that I think that you can learn from too. And then we'll talk about how we painted it. It was the first time I ever painted PLA and it was loads of fun. And the other crafting type stuff that we did to make these work. So let's get into it. So first up, we're gonna talk about the bell. For the bell, I just did a simple sketch Infusion and I'd never used the revolve tool, so I wanted to try that out with this one. And I just revolved it around so that it was a 360, you know, it makes a round bell. And then I extruded out two holes at the top so that we'd be able to thread some string through it to hang it. And I made sure that there was a nice little edge on the lip just to give it kind of an aesthetic to make it look more like a bell. And Kristen went down to Michael's, she picked out some thread and that uh, that's the thread that we used to, to hang it. And then we included two little bells so that it would ring pretty good. I mean, if you're holding the plastic, it doesn't do it as much, but if you're if you're holding it by the string, it kind of rings nice, so. I don't know, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. All right, so next up is this little guy, the gingerbread man. I love how he turned out. For this one, Kristen made a cute little sketch of a gingerbread man, and I pulled that into Fusion as my canvas. Because I'm not artistic at all, she has all the artistic ability. So I used the sketching tool to trace out the outline of the gingerbread man, and then I extruded it, and then I added some fillets or fillets, and I used the front face of the model so that I could add all the little details into the gingerbread man. I went and I used the combine tool. I went and I combined it. I combound. I used the combine. I used the combine tool, and it made it a solid model so that I could 3D print it. We still wanted to add our finishing touches, right? I don't have multi-material upgrade for Prusa, and I don't have a way to print in multiple colors. Actually, I haven't just, I haven't tried it yet. I think I do have the, the capability, I just don't have the know-how. So what we did instead is I printed this out in wood filament, and then we took the time to, to paint them. And I, I think that that process was a lot of fun. I'll include a little clip for you guys. You want red too for you? Mm. For your bow or whatever? Yeah. Are you doing your red, your bow in red? What? Black? Black eyes and what, a black mouth? What, what color is it usually? Well, it's it's candy, so the icing would be... Oh, I've never seen a gingerbread with white eyes and a white mouth. So that's the gingerbread man. I hope you guys like it. This is how it turned out. And let me know what you think. All right, so the next one up is gonna be the Santa hat. And it's a really simple one. I just did an outline of a Santa hat in Fusion. And I left a ledge right at the bottom part so that you can glue some little fluff balls on there. And I printed them out and then we used the hot glue gun to attach all the fluff balls. And I think it came out pretty cute. I get cute is not I think it came out pretty cool it was a lot of fun to make and we took a little clip of us making them it was quick and simple so you could do this with your kids if you wanted to and I'll include that clip right now
So that's how it turned out. Uh, I think it came out pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Last, but certainly not least, is my favorite, The Snowman. And it's my favorite because I spent way too much time, more than I care to admit, trying to make this little model. So the steps for this were fairly simple. Brought in the three spheres that make up the body, merged those together. And then I took a, a rectangular tool just to cut off the bottom part because I wanted it to be able to print easy. So I, I made the buttons and I brought in one and then I patterned it out and rotated it and I, I filleted the edges so that it looked more coal-like. I, I did the eyes and I just, all I did is I brought in a circle and I, I mirrored that. I did the mouth so that it would look kind of uneven. I didn't like how it turned out. I ended up having to change that. It took me a little bit to mess with the mouth, but the nose was also something that I had to change because at first it was too small. The next time I brought it in, I made it so that the top of the nose is kind of at a 90 degree angle. And then the bottom of the nose is more of a 45 degree angle so that it prints easier. And then after that, I brought in the arms and um, I had to adjust them a couple times. The first iteration of this, it printed out and the arms were too thin and the, the fingers were kind of too thin so it didn't print out right it kind of melted and it uh, didn't look right the scarf was actually the coolest part and this is a new tool I used in fusion that I'd never really messed with before but it's called the sweep command so you draw out a, a sketch and then you create a path for it to go along and then you sweep it I tilted the the circle that it was swept on a little bit to give it an off-center look and then I also did I swept it up from the chest so that it would look like it was draping down. The hat was cool. I brought it in, it was when I when I sketched it out. It was a little small, but I didn't want to make it any bigger. I thought it looked cute being small, and Kristen insisted that I made it tilted. After we printed them out, we wanted them to look really good on the tree, and so we decided to paint them. And it was my first time painting PLA, and it was a blast. Here's a clip of us painting. After painting, I think it's completely obvious who the better painter is. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys the three that we painted and I'll let you guys decide. So that was the snowman. I, I hope you guys vote for the right person uh, in the comments below and let me know. But uh, I love how they all came out and I think it was great. I know my family loves to bring crafts and hobbies to do on Christmas Eve when we all get together. And as a kid, I felt like I was forced to do it, but now as an adult, I'm doing it for myself. So it's just something fun to do with your kids. I had a blast printing these and I had loads of fun painting them with Kristen. So I hope you guys can share in our joy and maybe print these out and share them with your family. And you can paint them with your kids, you can hot glue, but don't let the kids handle the hot glue. You can hot glue the, the little fluff balls on the Santa hats. I hope you guys are able to download these and print them out yourselves. And if you do, please uh, tag me in your social media. I'd love to see it. Happy holidays, everyone. Whatever it is you celebrate, I hope everyone has a great one and we'll see you next time. I am like really sweaty, like I don't know how else to do that.